in this video we have been given that angle BAC is 90 degree angle CDB is 90 degree and AB is 2 CD is 5 and BD is 10 then we have to find shaded area so in triangle BCD it is B C D this angle is 90 degree C D is 5 B D is 10 so B C square it will be B D square plus C D square by Pythagoras theorem and B C square it is equal to B D is 10 square plus C D is 5 square and B C square it is 100 plus 25 and B C square it is 125 so B C it will be root under 125 that will be 5 root 5 we get BC is 5 root 5 and Now, in triangle ABC, it is A, B, C. This angle is 90 degree. AB is 2. BC is 5 root 5 and AB square plus AC square it will be equal to BC square by Pythagoras theorem and AB is 2 square plus AC square it is equal to BC is 5 root 5 square and it is 4 plus AC square is equal to 125 and AC square it is 125 minus 4 and AC square it is 121 so AC it will be root under 121 that will be 11 we get AC is 11 and Now, suppose this point is P and from point P, if we make a perpendicular on BC, 
suppose this point is q pq it is perpendicular to bc it is our construction then interangle bqp and triangle bdc we have angle bqp is equal to angle bdc that is 90 degree and angle qbp it is equal to angle dbc that is common so triangle bqp it will be similar to triangle bdc hence bq over qp it will be equal to bd over dc and bq over qp it is equal to bd is 10 over dc is 5 and 5 times 2 is 10 so we get bq over qp is 2 that means bq it will be 2 times qp we get bq is 2 times qp and now interangle cqp and triangle cab we have angle cqp is equal to angle cab that is 90 degree and angle qcp is equal to angle acb that is common so triangle cqp it will be similar to triangle cab hence cq over qp it will be equal to ca over ab and cq over qp it is equal to ca is 11 over ab is 2 so we can get cq is 11 over 2 times qp cq it is 11 over 2 times qp and now we have bc is 5 root 5 and bc is bq plus cq it is 5 root 5 and bq is 2 times qp plus cq is 11 over 2 times qp it is 5 root 5 and it is 4 qp plus 11 qp over 2 is equal to 5 root 5 
and 15 over 2 QP. It is 5 root 5 and 5 times 3 is 15. So 3 QP over 2 it is root 5. So we can get QP is 2 root 5 over 3. QP it is 2 root 5 over 3. And now area of BCP it will be 1 over 2 times base is BC times height is PQ and it is 1 over 2 times BC is 5 root 5 times PQ is 2 root 5 over 3 and 2 will get cancelled so it is 5 root 5 times root 5 over 3 that will be 25 over 3 so we get shaded area is equal to 25 over 3 it is 25 over 3 